what's up everyone welcome back to another video on the channel today we are possibly making you guys some stubs we have a new stub method with the brand new monthly awards in april and this is just speculation right now so quick disclaimer be super careful while doing this you're gonna have to invest some stubs into this but i'm gonna explain you why i think you can make some pretty good stubs working the market with these new april monthly awards but before we begin today make sure you leave a subscribe on the channel if you are new and the like goal for today on this one is 199 that's all i'm asking for it's not 200 just 199 likes it does help grow the channel so make sure you guys go do that turn on post notifications too so you don't miss videos just like this one so today we got the april monthly awards they are doing the flashback type of uh monthly awards here as you remember from the 17 the show we got the ryan zimmerman that was like i think it was a 91 overall so an 85 here but then we have other stages on here right now we are on the stage one missions and moments if i was a guessing man we are going to have a stage two for the unlockable at 75 which is the another classic monthly awards and the up to the level 90 and then the level 900 or 100 i feel like is going to be the biggest reward i'm gonna guess they're gonna bump up an overall for a certain diamond for this one to like a 94 overall or something so that way we have the final diamond if it's not this if it doesn't work this way i feel like they're gonna have us collect every card here and it's gonna become like a collection for the monthly rewards but the reason why i think we're gonna be able to make some pretty good stubs from this if this happens if you go into the missions real quick there is an exchange nationals and first baseman mission in there to complete so that means more people are going to be buying the cards for that said team like right now it's the nationals for ryan zimmerman obviously so more people are buying the nationals if we go into the market real quick a huge price boost on a lot of these diamonds i think juan soto yesterday was 2,000 stubs and now he's up to almost 4,000. so almost double he actually did double his price like an hour ago when this first came out but let's look at this silver victor robles 1900 people will buy that people will buy that to finish these quickly and this even the bronze are uh, back up to about 500 stubs each so as you can see there there is going to be some movement in the market if they do give that exchange mission for the future cards so now i say that i think there's only going to be three straight stages because we can actually get all the way up to unlock the 55 program mission starts here for April monthly rewards with the missions. If you do all missions and all the moments, you should be able to get to 55. And then after that, 60 to, I feel like, all the way up to 90, there's going to be a stage 2. So two possible sets of missions for the exchanges. So now this is the important part. I'm going to predict what the diamonds are going to be for these unlockables once we do reach them and that's gonna give us a pretty good you know insight on who we should buy in the market and what teams to go for there are i have four total diamonds that it possibly could be and then the final guy the final one probably won't have an exchange but we're still gonna reveal who i think it's going to be for the unlock at 100 but the first diamond that I think it's that's going to be in this, and we may even get more missions for the 55. I don't think so. Or for the 50, but I don't think so. But one of the diamonds that I feel like it's going to be is a Tyler Glass now. There's no specific order to this, but I'm thinking Tyler Glass now is going to be in here. Tyler Glass now had one of the most expensive cards in MLB The Show. Another guy I feel like is going to be one is Tim Anderson, so White Sox. So, so far we have Tampa Bay Rays and White Sox. This is gonna be, a lot of this is gonna be really low risk because if you grab some of the golds, most of these golds will be around the 1,000 stubs anyways. Unless it's an important collection, then their prices are gonna be up a little bit higher, but it's gonna be low risk. Buy them as low as possible. And you may double your golds up and maybe even more on the bronze and silvers another diamond that we think 
it might be is Patrick Corbin for the Arizona Diamondbacks. So right now, Tampa Bay Rays, White Sox, and Arizona Diamondbacks are the ones we should be looking at. And then a fourth one that it possibly could be because we're going to get three here and then a final one. But another one that it possibly could be is the Kansas City Royals, Vargas, Jason Vargas. So those four teams, I'm going to be going out there and buying these and try to get myself, try to prepare myself for the impending rise in the prices like i said let's go let's go to the market again real quick so i'm gonna go to the white Sox. i'm gonna go to the white Sox real quick so if if tim anderson does drop and they do have an exchange mission there are a couple of diamonds on here like lucas giolito that's really low risk right there 1310 to 1230 if his price gets to about what the nationals prices went up to you're gonna see a thousand stubs at least in profit per Lucas Giolito that you have. The Jose Abreu, Abreu could reach up to 4,000 stubs, but he's only an 81 overall. So I feel like right now Jose Abreu is a little overpriced. So I would I would kind of avoid him. But you can go for Grandal, Lucas Giolito. Like right now, this Yoan Moncada is the highest overall. He should be priced around the same as Edwin and Carnacion. So Yoan Moncada is a really good one to go for right now. Same with Tim Anderson himself, so around the 300 range there for 78 overalls. But you can see how like low risk this can be because once this is over, they'll probably drop back to about the same pricing as you see right now. We're gonna go look at the Tampa Bay Rays real quick. Tampa Bay Rays, we have look, yeah, look at this super, super low risk on all the diamonds for Tampa Bay right now. Hunter Renfro is there 79 over at 500 he'll probably reach around 1000 if the Tampa Bay Rays do, does get an exchange but like what I said it, it's you're gonna have to take a little risk here if you're thinking the same way I'm thinking because I do believe that there, there's probably going to be an exchange somehow in the future diamonds diamondbacks diamondbacks super low risk on the golds here too i'm saying low risk because if if they, they don't have it and their price is gonna stay close to the quick sell anyways donald Marte, you risk a few hundred stubs there but i would stick to the 1000 stubs and the lower silvers too i'm just gonna check on the kansas city quick kansas city royals and yeah only whit merrifield and then really cheap silvers so I feel like I feel like we could make some pretty good stubs here. Um, but now let's let's go let's go reveal who I think my prediction is for the final diamond in this program. So at level 100, at 100 unlockable, I feel like this is going to be DD Gregorius. So don't go out there and start buying Yankees cards because I feel like you gotta collect every single diamond to get to, to unlock the level 100 here. I could be wrong with that, but I think it's going to be the diamond DD Gregorius in the unlockable at level 100 there so so the whole point of this video is to make you guys some extra stubs if you're running low on stubs prepare yourself for because this is going to be coming here soon we're, we're two weeks into april so that means we could probably see the next diamond as early as this coming friday like i said though this first one may not have an exchange right away because we can get to 50 right now if we wanted to but they could still drop an exchange for one of these teams depending on who this diamond is so for example if this is glass now they may drop an exchange for the tampa bay rays and definitely definitely those prices are gonna go up because we showed you an example with the nationals there so that's what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be investing in those cards right now and then all we can do from here is hope that I'm right. Hope that I'm right about this. But I've talked to my mods. I've talked to a few people. They feel like it, they're, they're thinking the same thing too. Because why would they put in the stage one an exchange and not do an exchange for the other stages? So, But I think there's going to be three total stages. So we'll get another a stage two and then a stage three to these April monthly awards. But free diamonds, free diamonds. And you're going to be doing these anyways because they are free and they're easy to get. So might as well make stubs while you get free diamonds, right? So you're almost, it's almost like you're getting paid. You're getting paid to do these moments to get these free diamonds in the game. So, but if this helps you out, I hope you guys make some stubs from this. And I really do hope that they do have exchanges for, for those teams. Because I want to see you guys get those collections done. That 99 Mantle, the Craig Biggio, and the Gary Sheffield are very, very good cards. So I, 
I hope this helps you out. Make sure you guys leave that like down below. 199 likes. Turn on post notifications and leave a sub on the channel for future videos just like this one. Check out my other two videos right here as well. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.